My name is Steve Maruzzi, and today we're going to talk about the Minitherm JX programming. All of this information is right in the manual. Start by removing your plastic cover. And follow the programming steps in this order. Step one, complete the advanced settings first. And under advanced settings are if you needed to change from Fahrenheit to Celsius, or you needed to change your low water cutoff from an auto reset to manual reset due to local codes. Or lastly, if you wanted to change your high limits differential. A high limit on this boiler is an auto reset. It's not a manual reset. So I'll use the example of 200 degrees and we have a defaulted differential of 30 degrees. So at 200 degrees, the boiler would shut off, but at 170, it would refire. And I'll go through all of these settings with you today. Next is step two. So if you don't have to make any changes under advanced settings, go right to step two. And step two is an optional outdoor sensor. And again, we'll get into, if you're not doing anything with step two, you'll go right to step three. But uh, let me cover this first in installing outdoor sensor. And then you'd get in and adjust your warm weather shutdown. And then you could adjust your reset ratio curve. Step three is adjusting the economy settings. So again, if you're not utilizing step one or two, just skip those steps, go right to step three, which would be adjust economy settings for thermal targeting. And lastly is set your desired high limit. And why I say that is hypothetically, you came in your middle dial is your high limit dial and you wanted a 200 degree high limit. So you set it at 200 and then went back to maybe under advanced programming and decided to uh, reset your low water cutoff from an auto reset to manual reset. You will have to turn that middle dial in the programming sequence and that is a potentiometer. So example of this is if I set it for 200 degrees and then made changes and had to go back and turn this potentiometer, my high limit now may be set at 160 and I'm going to short cycle the boiler. So the high limit setting is always done as the last step. And I'll go through all of these steps with you. We'll start with changing from Fahrenheit to Celsius. So to change from Fahrenheit to Celsius or anything under advanced settings, we're going to start with our left hand dial and turn that till you see the letters PRO for programming appear on the display. Next, choose your middle dial and turn that to the number two. Now we'll use our mode dial and here's our mode dial. Now I want to bring a caution here. When pressing the mode dial, if it sits idle for 10 seconds, it's going to revert back to pro for programming. So when you're making selections, I'll be fairly quick with them. And in this example, I want to change from Fahrenheit to Celsius. So I would press it once and I'll see the letter F appear for Fahrenheit. Press it a second time and I'll see the lowercase c appear for Celsius. Be patient and it's going to revert right back to program in 10 seconds. The next setting would be if you wanted to change your low water cutoff from auto reset to manual reset. Again, Start with your left hand dial. Make sure you're in pro for programming. So turn that till you see the letters PRO appear. Now choose your middle dial and turn that to the number three. Now we can use the mode button. Press it once and the letter A will appear for auto. Press it a second time and the letter B will appear. And now you're in manual reset. Again, it will revert back to programming after 10 seconds. And lastly, under advanced settings is if you wanted to change that high limits differential. Again, it's defaulted for 30 degrees. Start in pro for programming. If you're not there, just turn that left hand dial till you see the letters PRO. Now your middle dial, turn that dial till you see the number nine. Now use your mode button. Press it once and it's going to show you the defaulted setting in this example is 30 degrees. Press it a second time. You'll see the number 10 or um, 10 degrees for the differential. Press it again is 20 degrees. So we give you three different setting options here. A 10 degree differential 20 or lastly is the default of 30. So you can continue to scroll through that until you find your value. Just be patient and then it will revert right back to pro for programming. So 
Once you're done with your advanced settings, simply turn that left hand dial to off and now you're done. And once you turn it to off within 10 seconds or so, it will revert back to its boilers outlet temperature as I'm showing here of 103 degrees. So that's advanced settings. And again, if you don't need to do anything under advanced settings, skip it, go right to your next step. And here we're showing step two, if you did chose to install or purchase the outdoor sensor. And hook up your outdoor sensor first. Now you can get in and adjust your warm weather shutdown. Now warm weather shutdown is achieved by pressing the mode button and turning the right hand dial or the economy dial simultaneously. And our range for warm weather shutdown is from 40 degrees to 70 degrees. You can also turn this function off for testing purposes, which I'll get into in a second. But so in my example, I'm going to press the mode button and turn the economy dial simultaneously. And here I'm showing the value of 70 degrees. So now I have a 70 degree warm weather shutdown. So at anything above 70, it won't allow the boiler to operate for heating application. It would be able to operate it for domestic hot water if you hooked up to an indirect. Be patient, it's gonna revert right back to its boiler's outlet temperature. And again, you can turn that function off, but that should only be done for testing in warm days. So example, just install the boiler at 75 degrees out. I do have an outdoor sensor hooked up, but I wanna test fire the boiler. Press the mode button and turn the economy dial simultaneously to off. And now you can, you know, once you leave it alone, it'll revert back to its boiler's outlet temperature and it will now fire the boiler. Just remember to go back in and turn that function back to your desired settings. Next, we'll talk about is adjusting the reset ratio. So if you want to do outdoor reset, here is an example of that. So first of all, when you wire up the outdoor sensor, the display will flash two numbers or two values at you. And I'm showing a value of 70. So hypothetically, the boiler was just installed, hasn't run, I've only got 70 degree water in it. That's gonna show me my boiler temperature. It will also flash the outdoor temperature at that time. So in this example, I have a 70 degree boiler temperature and it's 48 degrees outside. And how it will flash at you would be eight seconds, uh, of your boiler temperature and about four seconds of your outdoor temperature. So again, it'll keep flashing back and forth for you. And that's one indication that it's hooked up, okay? With the outdoor sensor hooked up, turn the economy dial to your desired reset ratio and follow the installation manual for this. And I'll show you that chart in a minute. So in this example, um, it's at 1.75 and maybe I want 2.0, and 2.0 is for every one degree of outdoor air temperature that it drops will elevate the boiler temperature two degrees. Or maybe I wanted it set a little higher, and I'll turn that value in this example to 2.5. So follow the chart in the manual, and here I'm showing the chart, and on the left-hand column is your outdoor air temperature. So if I came down and I said, all right, at 20 degrees of outdoor air, I want to achieve 180. Follow that up, and that's going to give me a 2.0 reset ratio curve. Well, maybe that's not enough. And maybe at 30 degrees of outdoor air, I want to achieve 180. So start at 30, follow that over. In this example, here's 180. Follow that up, and that will give me a 2.5 uh, reset ratio. Okay, so very simply make your adjustments per the manual. And again, if you're not doing anything with either step one or maybe step two, just go right to the next step. And this example is adjusting our economy settings for thermal targeting and follow that in the book. And I'll show you an example of that in a minute as well. So with this very simply turn the economy dial to your desired setting. It's defaulted for setting one. In this example, I've turned it to setting two or maybe even setting three. And I'll pull this up for you here. The left-hand column is your settings. The next column over is your boost intervals. And third column over is boost temperature. So what does all that mean? Well, hypothetically, let's say right now I'm running at 170 degree temperature of the boiler. And it's defaulted for setting one. 
it's going to wait 15 minutes. And if I cannot meet demand, so in other words, I can't satisfy the thermostat demand in 15 minutes with 170 degree target temperature, it will elevate 10 degrees. So now after 15 minutes, I'm now targeting 180. Waits another 15 minutes. If I can't meet demand, it'll elevate it another 10 degrees to 190. So choose your value here. In this example of three, it's going to wait 25 minutes. So it's going to give us 25 minutes to satisfy those thermostats, depending on how many zones. Um, so again, I use the example of 170. And then if I can't satisfy multiple zones, 25 minutes will elevate 10 degrees. I'm now targeting 180, et cetera. So it'll keep going up as high as the high limit. And just be patient. Once you've chosen your value, I showed the example of two or three. Once you stop making any adjustments, in about 10 seconds, it'll revert right back to the boiler's outlet temperature. And this example is 103 degrees. And lastly, set your desired high limit. And that is very simply your middle dial. And the high limit range is from 160 to 220 degrees. So turn your dial. And in this example, I'm showing a high limit of 190. Maybe I want it a little higher. Turn it again, and it goes in one degree increments. So here I'm showing a 200 degree limit. Again, this is not a manual limit. It is an auto limit. So it's going to shut off in this example of 200 degrees. We have a default of 30 degrees, so that means at 170 it would refire. Once you're done, it'll revert back to the boiler's outlet temperature. All of this information is right in the manual, so please read the manual, as well as if you have any questions, please contact the factory at 1-800-900-WARM or 1-800-900-9276. Thank you.